In this demonstration, I will show how to use parameters to highlight data points in a SAS Visual Analytics report. I will be using SAS Visual Analytics 8.4 for the hands-on portion, but the same techniques can be used in earlier releases of SAS Visual Analytics. Let's look at some examples of using parameters to highlight data points. In this first report, there is a single value slider that is driving the highlighting. The report then filters for the five days prior and five days after the selected date value, not including the selected date. You can see that as I move the slider value, both the list table, the bar chart, and the dynamic highlighting all update automatically. Let's look at a second example. In this second example, notice that I'm highlighting two different data points. The first is the year dropdown, and that is highlighting the horizontal bar chart. The second is the product make dropdown, and that is highlighting the vertical bar chart. If I change the year, I can see that it's updating both bar charts and the highlighting is updated. If I change the value for product make, I can see that the vertical bar chart is highlighted and the horizontal bar chart is actually filtered. For more information on this example, please refer to the blog I link to at the end. Let's look at the last example which we will be recreating in this video. Here you can see that the dropdown is prompting for NFL team and it highlights both the winning score data points in the line chart and the corresponding team in the bar chart. Let's go ahead and see how we can configure this. I'm going to start with a pre-built report. Here you can see I have the same line chart and bar chart, but no drop-down list selection yet. The line chart plots the winning Super Bowl scores for each of the Super Bowl years and the bar chart is plotting the winning teams and the frequency of which they've won Super Bowls. Let's go ahead and add the dropdown to this report so that it will highlight the selected NFL team's winning scores and corresponding value in the bar chart. The first thing I'm going to do is expand the page prompt area. I do not want to put my control object in this area. Remember that report and page prompt areas automatically filter report objects, and that is not the behavior we want. We will need to add our drop-down list control object to the actual report canvas. Using the objects pane, I'm going to go ahead and filter for drop-down list and bring it over the line chart. Now we can assign winning team to its category role. Notice when I make a selection, nothing is happening. Now we need to create a parameter to store this selected value. Using the data pane from the new data item menu, we're going to select parameter. I'm going to give my parameter a meaningful name. The type is character and it does not require a current or default value. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now we can assign the parameter we just created to our control object. Using the Roles tab, we'll go ahead and add the parameter we just created. Now we need to create a flag data item. Essentially, we want to flag all of the data rows whose winning team value matches the selected value in the drop-down list control. To do this, again, we're going to use the data pane and the new data item menu, and we're going to select calculated item. We're going to give it a meaningful name, and I'm going to build the expression first before I populate the data items. Here we're going to create a Boolean expression where I want to compare if the winning team value matches the parameter value. I'm going to go ahead and get a comparison expression for the condition. And now I'm going to switch to my data items tab where I want to compare if my winning team equals my parameter value. If it does equal, I want to return a one, otherwise return a zero for every single row of data. 
Now we can use this flag to create a display rule. First, let's create a display rule for the line chart. With the line chart activated, I'm going to use the Rules tab and select New Rule for our selected team flag. We want to highlight any rows whose value is greater than zero. Since we didn't change the aggregation type of the flag calculation to be non-additive, we do not have a true Boolean flag. Since I left the aggregation to default sum behavior, any rows flagged with one will aggregate to greater than zero, or any row by itself will be greater than zero. So we are safe if we use this expression. We'll have any selected team flag where it's greater than zero, and I will style the graph yellow. And here we can see four cowboys who have five wins. We have five data points highlighted. We have to repeat these display rule steps for the bar chart. With the bar chart now activated on the rules pane, we're going to select new rule for our selected team flag. Again, anytime selected team flag is greater than zero, we're going to style the graph yellow. I'm going to go ahead and test our drop down, and we can see that it's working. As a tip for the line chart, notice that only the markers are being highlighted. Use the options pane in order to turn on the markers. You can see as I toggle the markers on and off, the line itself does not change color. Only the markers are affected by the display rule. For more information, please refer to the SAS Visual Analytics documentation or check out one of my other videos or blogs. Thank you and check back with the Technical Insights and Expertise series for additional tips.